Welcome back to System Shock. Our goal at the moment is to eject the groves to get rid of Shodan's evil experiments that they're running in the groves. But to do that, we have to visit each grove and hit the Jettison Enable switch. So right now we're in Delta Grove. Let's try to find that switch. I'm going to leave my Magpulse rifle here just because my inventory space is extremely tight. A red drink? Oh, let's get one. Error. Employee insolvency detected. Wow, good choice. Hyper Jolt Red Drink. 62 grams of sugar. <laughs> Of course, I find a Magpul's cartridge immediately after ditching the Magpul's rifle. Oh, it's so open. This might be the largest environment I've I've seen yet. I gotta be on the lookout for snipers. I bet there's probably snipers around. This would be the perfect environment for them. Finally, we can see all these cool plants up close. Level security is now 75. Oh shit! That's new. Plant mutant. Yeah, I'll say. Uh, yeah, one camera took the level security down by 25%, so I guess there's only three more cameras? See a couple more enemies on the minimap. Probably plants. Can I spot them? Like, are they hiding? Do they just look like normal plants? Do they pop out of the ground? Oh yeah, there it is. And spot them. There's one. Pretty hard to spot, though. It's pretty subtle. Oh! They dropped a mini pistol. Yeah, I don't actually remember exactly where I dropped my, um, was it the Scorpion? The automatic mini pistol, basically. But I haven't had any weapon that uses that ammo for a long time. I, I'm not exactly desperate for ammo at the moment. I don't think it's worth taking. I'd rather just go find the Scorpion. I probably have it marked somewhere on the map. manually locked. Oh, 
I don't think that's one. God, I'm just looking at every leaf, trying to figure out if it's alive. You know, the rapier might actually be really good here. Huh, I would love to just keep it out like this, but it takes up like half the screen, so maybe not. Oh my god, look at all this stuff I can vaporize. Ah, oh, I don't have the patience to. Sixty two percent. Hmm. That's not the percentage I expected. Are some gamers worth more than others? I love the way the UV lights come on when you step in here. The way they flicker. It's a really cool touch. Ah, oh, we're up here. I just saw something weird. It looked like a spray of webs or acid or something. Wait, I see something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's some like plant thing that's spewing acid. Right there. I don't think it is a threat to me from here. Can we go up another level? What am I hearing? I think something moved down there. Okay, I could float across this gap if I wanted to. Oh, hello. I'm wondering if I want to go over here yet. Where does this go? Back to here, then. Let's go down. Oh. The hell was making that noise? sounding. Everyone's got snacks on them.
Whoa. This looks like a... I don't know, almost like a boss arena or something. Let's make a save. Oh, there's a pterodactyl up there. Oh, Jesus! There, choke on that. I don't think it choked on that at all. Oh, come on. There's a whole bunch of them. But they take damage over time, so I think it's worth shooting them and then just, yep, just waiting. And then they drop out of the sky. This thing is really super accurate with the upgrade that I've done. Okay, another save. And then let's see if something happens. Is this a weird game of chess? I'm a little bit scared to see what happens when I press that button. it by looking at it. Oh! I right-clicked and it made a move. Came over black winds. Maybe this is a reset button. And you play it by just, yeah, you just look at any of these from anywhere and you can right-click them to do the action. So, oh! Oh, okay, yeah, it did reset it. Interesting. I'm not exactly sure how to play chess, even if it was normal chess pieces. And these are not normal. I know enough about chess to know that these are not normal chess pieces, but they probably behave the same. King, queen, rook, knight, etc. Pawns in the front. Interesting. I wonder what beating this will do. Let's look around. I use the button on the other side too. What does this do? Oh. Okay, just goes up and down. Disabled. Maybe beating the game enables the lift? Oh, there's one of those things that spews gas. Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> Quiet bastards!
There you are. Now 12%, so probably just one more camera. It seems like the groves are perhaps not that large. Certainly not as large as a normal level, it seems like. That's probably going to disable the force field. Maybe not. Seem to just make the lift go down. Looks like that's a lift for the other side of a laser bridge. I don't know if that's a laser bridge that I've already found before, though. I don't think it is. It wasn't for that. don't have any more ammunition for the shotgun. For this type, anyway. I am actually kind of low on ammo. I think I've got a good amount of magnum, so I'll just stick with that for now. Ooh, look at these glowy mushrooms. Feels like it's straight out of Fallout or something. Okay, yeah, we've been across here. So the lift I activated was... Was it that one? No. No, 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 it wasn't that one. Wait, which one was it? I don't know, I don't... I don't think it matters. I just vaporized scrap. That gives you nothing. It's like double vaporizing. Just wasted it.
Ooh, energy projectile shield V2. Absorbs an increased amount of damage for proportionally more energy. Mark three assault rifle. That's what I already have, right? Yeah. Oh, some more ammunition for the assault rifle, I think. Yeah. All right, let's see if someone who doesn't know how to play chess can play cyber chess. I spent maybe a half hour playing. I think I did like three rounds or maybe two and a half. I think I've got the basics of chess down, but yeah, chess is, is quite hard for a complete beginner. And I think it would take me literally hours to have any chance at winning this. So I think I'm just going to leave it. I could look up a solution, of course, but then then where would be the satisfaction? Do you think there's secrets up here in the rafters? Ooh. Oh my god, you can actually get up here! Are you meant to be able to get up here? Oh, there's gotta be secrets somewhere up here. Surprisingly enough, I actually didn't find anything. I mean, there's a lot of areas that I could go down to that might have secrets, but I didn't find any secrets actually up here. Right, so this is where I was going. Safety interlocks, okay. Oh, hello. a shortcut back the um the map is a little bit inaccurate now that i've flown around up above it kind of revealed a lot of parts on the map that i hadn't actually really explored so even though that looks explored it might not be i'm a little bit worried something horrible is going to happen some giant robot's going to come out but where would it come from i might be okay Please don't get mad at me, Shodan. Please, please, please. We're good. I wonder what happens when you complete the chess game. Oh, this is just the... Yeah, I have been here. Maybe you're not meant to actually get here until after you kind of complete everything. But I got here early because I have the jump boots. But I think you have to have the jump boots to even get to this point in the game, so... Maybe you are meant to be able to get here. In that case, is there actually anything I haven't explored? Let me go take a quick look. I can turn this off. I don't... Yeah, I haven't been here. That is everything. Level security 0%. Here I've already been. <laughs> I got an achievement. Solve the chess puzzle in Delta Grove. Uh, by the way, I need to explain, I did not complete that with skill. Absolutely not. 
I am not a chess master. I barely know how to play at all. The two and a half rounds I played off camera without cheating were literally the first time I've played chess since I was a kid. So the way I solved it was I googled how would you beat a computer at chess and it was very general strategy tips that I could learn but could take me hours, dozens of hours even maybe. Like I'd have to seriously practice to do it and there's no way I was doing that just for this one puzzle. Then I thought what if I asked AI? Maybe AI would have special insight into how to defeat another artificial intelligence of a sort and it basically just gave me the same general be good at chess tips uh, but it did give me one really curious tip where it said that I should play fast because it'll put the AI opponent under time pressure and it'll make mistakes I don't know why it thinks computers suffer from human time pressure issues uh, but yeah, I thought, okay, that's nonsense. What if maybe there's a website out there that will play a game of chess for me? And it turns out there is. I found a place called nextchessmove.com and basically it uses AI to figure out what it would play as its next move given the current configuration of the board. So since white was going first, I just basically asked it what would be your first move if you were playing this game? Did that and then I waited for the opponent in the game to make their move. And then I inputted that into the website and then asked it again, given that configuration of the board, what would your next move be? So I just did whatever it said. It was a little bit painstaking, but it worked perfectly. It absolutely defeated the opponent quite quickly too. So totally cheating, but I think that's a, an interesting way to cheat. I think it's pretty interesting because I learned a little bit more about how to play chess for my attempts at actually genuinely beating it. And then I learned a bit more about ways that you can cheat and the kind of tools that are available, which is kind of neat. It looks like you don't just get an achievement for doing the chess game, but it also opens up this door and inside is a couple heals and most importantly, an inventory space upgrade, which would be incredible. My inventory space is so limited and I desperately want this. But given that I cheated, there is no way I'm taking that. That just feels like bad sportsmanship, you know? It just wouldn't be right. Well, we just completed Delta Grove. We know Beta Grove is full of environmental toxins that I'm not equipped to deal with at the moment. So that just leaves Alpha Grove, which I've just arrived at. And there doesn't seem to be any toxins in the air. So. We're going to explore this next episode, so hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we're going to find the jettison control switch for Alpha Grove.